Hey guys, um, don't remember if any of you remember a couple weeks back I mentioned I wanted to try a certain little tool out. So we're going to take our shred and we're going to open this little box. And get rid of the paper. So after this little intro, we'll finish opening it. Okay, welcome back. So let's get it open. Just kind of throw that over that way. And put my too sharp to play with knife away. And what we've got here is a chainsaw adapter. So, this is supposed to take an anger grinder and turn it into some sort of a chainsaw. So, what have we got in the box? Destructions. Eh, who needs them, right? Yeah, we might need them. I doubt it. Here's our hand cover. Uh, a little rough around the edges. Going to have to take some sandpaper and smooth that out. 200, 220 should be good for that. We have an empty bag. I'll bet you that's what the bar was in. Now I've had reports. Hold on one second. Okay, seconds up. So let's check how flat we are. And looks pretty flat there. Looks pretty flat on that side. We'll double check both sides just to make sure. Oops, sorry, you can't see, can you? Okay, so the bar's flat. How's our gear at this end? Oh, nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. Good deal, good deal. Okay, so that's good. This is actually my second box. The first box, the bar was bent. This bar is not bent. So we're ahead. Um, some of these kits come with a weird oiling system. It's a little squirt bottle or a squeeze bottle. That, it's got a clip that you clamp over and aim a hose down in there. And, oh, I think I like this one a little bit better. Yeah, sorry, you're kind of getting blinded out there. Um, Little nubs on the edges here. We'll take some 220 and uh, smooth those out. Make sure all our edges here are nice and smooth. But uh, clean up any of the rough sides. Just for aesthetics mainly. There's our chain. Our handle. Well, I could use that for all kinds of stuff. I could hang grocery bags and carry them home with us. Oh, oh, okay, sorry. Here's our cover with a built-in slack adjuster. Not the greatest, but some of the other ones that you find have a screwdriver end here. And you adjust it with a screwdriver and it places all on. It's just kind of a pain. And here's our bag of bolts. Now, I, I'm going to give one caveat right off the bat here. This will only fit certain brands. This is a, what is it, six millimeter? No, six or eight millimeter. And the one I need is a 10. So I have a 10 on the way, but uh, yeah, here's our cover for our little oil tank. I'll just throw that all in there for now. And the way it's supposed to work, once you fill it, you close it, of course. And when you're using it as a chainsaw, you pop this little part off and the little gravity feed. There's a little teeny ball bearing down in here. That will, you know, as it's vibrating, it's supposed to drip oil in. 
Then when you're done, you're supposed to be able to close it with this and no more drippage. Yeah, I don't know how well that's actually going to work. We'll find out. But I'm going to go ahead and sand these down. Yeah, this one's got all kinds of rough little burrs on it. Thread holes look to be pretty good on this. Here as well. I'll probably just dry run a screw through them all just to make sure. Let's see, like this one. It's got a burr right there. So I'll have to clean that out. We'll run the run a wrench all the way through all the screw holes to make sure there's no burrs inside the screws or the hole itself so when we assemble this we have no issues okay I'll no plan so I might cut in a little bit of footage of me sanding here as I prepare this, like I say, I still have to wait. This is smaller for some of the more off-brand style of angle grinders. Um, I think this is a 6mm hole, the one I need is a 10, or thereabouts. Some, I'd have to go look again. I've already got the piece ordered. Unfortunately, it is coming from China, so this video may take a while before we get it uploaded. Because I have to have a different one of these. I don't have a drill press and a drill bit strong enough to drill through this. I've already tried and uh, it, this on the other one I had. And uh, it, it's not going nowhere. So, we'll go ahead and lay this stuff over here. And, uh, I'll be back in a minute with some sandpaper. Okay, the only piece I could find was some 320. That's nice and clean. It isn't, I you know, already got plastic particles and resin particles. And I haven't bought any in a long time, so I'm going to fast forward through all this so you don't have to listen to it. Okay, sorry you had to watch all that. Uh, a couple things. Um, on the last guard, in the last package, it actually had a film over it. And I think this one may have as well. Let's see. Yeah, it's just going to be a pain in the butt to get off of there. There's this film there. It's just not wanting to come off. Sorry, I got dirty fenders now. But uh, a lot of these kits also come with a plastic hand guard. Now this is nothing special. It's nothing fancy. Um, that chain comes off, wraps around this. This is going to get damaged pretty badly. Um, I still highly advise using these, the hand guards. But um, yeah, this is a lot better than some of the other kits that are out there that cost a lot. Ouch. Anywho, they cost a lot more. So, this is a pretty decent kit. Um, this this kit here can be found on eBay. Um, I will look and try and find the exact same model and put a link to it in the description for you. And uh, you know, I'm not even going to bother trying to get that plastic off because it doesn't want to come off. Or does it? No, it's just being like a stubborn, rotten little. <sighs> yeah, there we go. Maybe. Nope, still doesn't want to come off. Anywho, that's only an aesthetic thing. That's not functionality. But now I'm probably going to sit here and pick at it for a week while I wait for the other piece to come in. So until it gets here, I'm going to have to just sit and wait. But 
yeah, now it clamps a lot better. Try and get some, there we go, a little bit of shade over it so it's not blinding. But it clamps a lot better now. And uh, once we get the other piece, we'll go ahead and assemble this and get her together for y'all. See you in a little while. Okay, guys, after several minutes, shall we say, of waiting, we were waiting for the part to replace this. Get it in the camera. This little guy, because it doesn't fit on the spindle. Finally, we have the new piece in. This one fits right there. So, let's see. Forgive my tiny little work area. So this goes like this. Yes, I'm not that graceful. And I can tighten that up later. Okay, let's see, get this in place. tool somewhere. Where did I put my tool? I don't know, but I've always got these, so. Solid. Put that up. Now we got to put this in place. Stop in front of the camera for a second. You know what? I'll be right back when I get this together. <laughs> okay, guys. So we got her done. Let's uh, back out a little bit there. and Sounds like it might do something. So I guess we're going to... What? What? With this? Yeah, it's just something I made. So I can do a batoning test with. Makes a good uh, over the head knocker. And this little thing I made for Charles to practice using a hatchet with. That, that's the shelf I made for hanging on the camera stand here if I need to have something at hand. But enough about that stuff, let's go play. See you outside. Alright, we're outside. You guys are going to have to forgive the traffic volume, so I'll make sure I turn the volume down in editing for this. But let's see if this single cut would. not be strong enough. Thicker 
Somehow I knew that wasn't going to work very well. Get it up here where I can get a little bit more leverage on it. Yeah, this is my battery. It's not strong. I didn't charge it either. Try one more piece. So, yep, get you in the camera here. Doesn't do too bad. The little hiccups I'm having are because of my battery. It's a tiny battery. So, all in all, I would actually say that's a pretty decent little get up. Now I gotta clean up and charge up the battery and finish cutting all that up. So, uh, excuse me. I'll try and find a link for them down below for you and uh, if you've got battery operated or even a cord uh, angle grinder you can make yourself a little chainsaw that does work just gotta make sure you got the right adapter for the spline or the shaft so that's it for this one we'll catch y'all later